What's up, it's Robert from Existence First. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about a mind trick that I discovered just like 30 minutes ago here in my home gym while I was doing my workout. If you lift weights, then you know that towards the end of any set as you're doing your last few reps, the muscle is burning from fatigue. And so what I told myself as I was wanting to quit is I said, it's just the body. It's just the body. And just by saying that, something shifted in me where all of a sudden I was doing 15 reps instead of 10, which is pretty significant. It didn't give me like one, I'm not talking about one or two extra reps, I'm talking about like five, six more reps. And to me, this is real psychology. This is taking control of the mind. This is experimenting. This is getting things done. This is being creative. So I view the mind as sort of like a five-year-old child. You gotta talk to it, you gotta give it guidance. Um, a child that is fairly receptive for the most part, but at any point could easily become emotional if not effectively guided. I'm gonna end with a funny clip from a, a, a bodybuilder named Ronnie Coleman. This guy is hilarious. You'll see the person's YouTube channel on the clip, so check it out if you wanna see the full video. But Ronnie Coleman, when he lifts weights, and he lifts some very, very heavy weights. He says two things. He says, ain't nothing but a peanut. And he says, lightweight, lightweight baby. And uh, it's hilarious. Like you just, here, watch the clip. Everybody wanna be a bodybuilder, but nobody wanna lift no heavy ass weight. Yeah, buddy. Lightweight baby, lightweight, lightweight. Ain't nothing but a peanut. Lightweight baby, boy! I don't know how many plates he had on that leg press at the end there, but that dude cracks me up every time. So the point of today's video is you have to use your mind to manage your mind. You have to use it to frame things. If you don't do that, this other mind is going to react to whatever's in the environment. If the environment is chaos, your mind will react to the chaos. So the first mind has to frame what's going on in a positive way and frame it and set it up for the other mind. They kind of work in tandem. And it's like throwing up a baseball and then the other one hitting it, right? It's They work together, okay? When I use my two minds together in that way, things go much smoother for me and I am much less intimidated by problems and obstacles as they come up. Thank you for watching. Think deeply and put your existence first.